It does seem like more work for us. But we still call the on-take medics. We just don't wait for them to get here. We turn patients around far quicker. Exactly. We tried it before. Medics took advantage, started expecting us to do it all for them. Charlie bawled out Pete's registrar, found him watching TV, waiting for us to sort his bloods. Hmm. You'll be chuffed then. OK, I'll look into it further. Thanks, everyone. He shouldn't undermine you like that. You should say something. It's not worth it. Bad start, but trust me, today's going to be different. <laughs> Peace offering. Coffee. A latte with an extra shot. I should have waited till after the briefing. It won't happen again. Someone's easily bought. Someone just fancied a coffee. Uh, Tom. Yeah. Ten year old boy, pelly and bilical pain, diarrhea and vomiting, pupil three. I've got an RTC coming in. Synthesis and vomiting means grumpy and uncooperative. Thank you. You're welcome. Jamie. Got a perfect thing to wake you up. Norman! This is Tamasha Camille, 14, fell, saving her colleague from being hit by a car. Obviously normal, very fractured wrist. Pain has been reduced with a little entonox. Uh, they set off the school sprinklers. Oh, I bet you're popular. Is that all right? Don't worry about her, we'll check her over. OK, let's get these guys changed. Cubicles three, please, Robin. Yep. Antonia Harris, and for short, 14, fell on some broken glass. Full movement, no circulatory impairment. Refused analgesia. Did you? Hello, Aunt. I'm Dr Hannah. You're in a lot of pain. Is it anywhere else? Cubicle three, please, Tom. OK. She's chatty. Aunt, you were going to have to let me examine. You could have damaged your tendons. OK, Robin, you want to take off the tracks, right? Well, then, let's get you in. Dr Hannah's great. Why don't you let her help you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's broken. Should we get an x-ray? He's supposed to be going on holiday later. Well, I can't promise you, but you should still be able to go. What is it with these girls? She's nearly as bad as her mate. Jamie, what was all that about? Yeah, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have snapped. We can't let your lifestyle affect your work like this. My what? You know what? You should save it for the weekend. Is everything all right? No, apparently my lifestyle is a bit of a problem. That's not what I meant, and you know that. Is there a problem? No. Young love, eh? Blending tears always does. Well, I hope not. I'll be a nightmare for the roses if they split up. Because that's all that matters. Is that the glass girl? Yeah, she's been very lucky. Single FB, neurovascularly intact. Are you going to take it out? She won't let me anywhere near her. But her mum's on her way in, so I'll have to wait for her. Poor kid, must be a lot of pain. But I do know that, Martin. Do you mind if I have a go? I already have. It won't harm her, will it? Don't say a word. Here we go. I've got your x-ray. It's only a very small fracture. So I can't go away? Yeah, you can still go away. You just have to put your arm in a plaster. Um, Tamasha's mum's waiting in reception. OK, I'll be right there. We won't need to pull it. Just need to go to the bath lab. You let Tess know. He's great with kids, isn't he? Yeah, he's a white saint. Should be calm when he does something. Uh, that's me. Uh, it's Tamasha, OK? She's fractured her wrist, but other than that, she's fine. Follow me. Thank you. Uh, thank you. The nurse said that she was OK, but, you know... I do know, but really, she's fine. That's fine. Do you need anything? No, thank you. I'm going to sort out your plaster. Will be a minute. Robin, I've got a wrist fracture, needs plastering bed two. Do you want to do it for me? Glad it's her and not a sulk bulk. Ah! 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 She managed that. Let's get her out. Oh, 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 I don't know how the cot sides were up. Mum, it's all right. I'm here. How did you fall? Ah! OK, so just your wrist that's hurting too much, eh? I'm going to need to re-x-ray this. OK. It's Masha. 
Can you help me, please? Come on, sir. Excuse me. Try and stay calm. Let's get this on. There you go. Try and take deep breaths. Deep breaths. What's wrong with her? Let's give him some space, yeah? Can you lean forward for me? Manipulative little madam. Probably an act. Uh, seriously, that's no act. Why is this happening? I'm not sure yet. You've got any pains in your chest? Mum? Let's let the doctor look after your sister, yeah? Come on. She'll be fine. Have a try without the mask? What's wrong with her? I think it was just a panic attack. I know it seems scary, but it's nothing serious. Not surprising after the morning you've had. Yeah, go ahead. How are you feeling? Oh, fine, thank you. I ate something. I feel a lot better. I should try and see. Stethoscope? Cheated. No, I used what tools I had to hand. I do say that a lot. We got the results back from your second x-ray. It's good news. There's no additional bony damage, so we'll just have to put your arm in plaster. Does this mean we can go? Yeah, if you promise to look after your sister. Oh, yes. I mean, I will. So if you come, let's go and get a drink. It's meant. Bobby, can you put backslab on Tomasa and arrange her discharge? Hiya. You want a break? No, I need you to cover for me. What? What's wrong? Look, there's just some mum left with her kid, and it's my fault. What did you do? Oh, no, I can't talk. I've got to go, all right? Where are you going? Jamie. Okay, Jamie. I'm going to need these notes, and I'll write up some paint for this. Robin. Uh, yeah, sure. Tomasha, what are you doing? Aunt's mum's right. I am a bully. OK, calm down. What do you mean? Oh, it's all me. I need to run from school. I can't go. I need to say sorry. I'm sure she's probably just gone to the toilet. No, she hasn't. The way she looked at me when she walked off. Don't worry. I'll see if I can find her. She take her back to her bed. Still on answer phone. I could kill Jamie. If it's any consolation, he'll feel awful. Antonia Harris, she's not in a cubicle. Is she with her mum somewhere? She has to go back to work. She'll be back soon. At a hunch, by Roxine Sky High. Explains why she's so moody. She must be feeling all over the place. Let's try and find her. I'll call security. Come on. All done. Thanks, Robin. Take these. They should take the edge off the pain. Have you found Aunt? I've got people out looking. Sorry, sorry. Um, you're missing, girl. Security got on camera. Stairway six. What's stairway six? It's the roof, but don't worry. At least we've found her. You stay here. Get my coat. Where's Jamie? Uh, he's sorting linen. I need cubicles cleared, not linen. I'll tell him. Aunt! It's Dr. Hannah! Can we talk about this, please? Talk about what? Oh, I, th I thought you were gonna... I just wanted a fag. She's fine! In fact, she's so fine, she's eating a packet of crisps. What's she doing here? She's a complete bitch! I think that's a bit much. You know, you two need your heads banging together. No, she's right, I am. I had a massive round with my mum and then I wrecked my phone. Sorry, I know that's lame. We have a false alarm, then. Yeah, thanks, Noel. I'll bring them both back down. Come here. I told you to wait downstairs. You know you're too young to smoke. Hey, those are mine. Not anymore. Now, if I give you the money, can we share these? Do I have any choice? It's dangerous to smoke. Uh, the words pot and kettle spring to mind. Will you tell my mum about the thyroid? Of course we will. Wasn't she worried about you losing weight and feeling tired all the time? She wants me to take responsibility for myself. Bit tricky, that, with a thyroid problem. Would it make me bad-tempered? Yes, big time. Seriously, now that we know, we can help you. I wish I'd known. 
thought you were just being a cow. I was, though, wasn't I? Right, enough skiving. Let's get back downstairs, yeah? Come on. It's freezing. Yes, uh, I'm with her now. Over. No problem. The police are downstairs. I need to speak to Antonia about the traffic accident. Is she in trouble? No, they just want to report it, that's all. Sorry. Aunt, it's nothing, I promise you. You knew they were coming? Well, well they could have predicted it. Yes, that's what happens when people have crashes. And stop! Aunt, please, be careful. Stay away from the edge. Antonia! Get help. What's wrong? Right, sir. Uh, and they're trying to stay away six ASAP, please. Straight into resource, yeah. On an ECG, a BM, and a CT scan. Quick as you can. Okay, far bed. No, no, stay back. Stay back. She's got a broad complex tacky. Looks like VT. Do you think she's taken something? And have you been having palpitations recently, like your heart beating faster? Yes, the yeah. thyroid got to be T4 is sky high. Okay, let's correct the VT Hi. first. Yeah, we might. She's in VF. Okay, let's get the bed down. Deep drip over. Stand by with the Goodell. Okay. Have some screens up here, please. Charging. Okay. Hats on. Yep. Clear. Shocking. Okay. Keep going. Stop him for a pulse, too. Still no output. Slowly, She's still in VF. Unit are clearing a bed for Charging. Parent to shock. Stand clear. Shocking. She's back in sinus. Yeah, we've got an output. I mean, the pyrox is still driving it. It could happen again. Oh, pen along. One milligram IV, please. Should correct the arrhythmia. It should do. I'll call out to you, get them down. Thanks, Tess. Good spot on the thyroxine. Could have been lost without those blood results. How is she? She's more stable, which is a good sign. What is her mother? On her way. She shouldn't be alone. Can I go over? Not just Please. yet. Okay, but you can't touch her. Will she really be all right? Tamasha told me what she did. Your daughter's a very good friend. You should be proud of her. We need to sort his potassium levels out. 7.5. Insulin and calcium gluconate going in now. Kidneys could still be compromised. Just have to hope the dialysis sorts it. You know what's causing this? It's an iron overdose. I missed it. I checked in his diet but forgot to ask about supplements. So how do you know? I found a stash in their kitchen. His mum said he'd been helping himself. Very good. Mrs. Harris? Yes. I'm Dr. Hannah. I was with Antonia when she collapsed. What's wrong with her? She has a thyroid condition which unfortunately developed into a more critical state. I left her in your care. And we're doing everything we can for her. What are you doing in here? Get them away from her. Well, they're only keeping her company. Well, we didn't want her to be alone. Out. Dr. Ashford, can I leave this with you? Why don't you come with me? These are Tamasha's notes. You should take them with you. Have a fantastic holiday. You're looking forward to it? It's going to be great. I've never even been on a plane before. So, um, can she get dressed now? Actually, no. We need a urine sample. Sorry, I but forgot. I thought it won't take a minute. Can you come with me, Tasha? Tasha, earlier in the cubicle, I think he fell deliberately. I know about cutting. Is that why you don't want to go on holiday? Are you worried about being circumcised? I could call social services. They could stop them putting you on the plane. No, you can't, please. I'm right, though, aren't I? That's why you don't want to go. If 
you told me you had a severe headache, it might mean that I could keep you here. So... Do you have a headache, Tamasha? Yes. You go back to your mum. I'll take care of it. Filing? Creatively, yeah. Just going to the canteen. Would you like to join me? Coffee and now dinner. I think so. I was buying. So, excuse me. Have you got a minute? Yeah, I might see you down there. Okay. I'd like to keep Tamasha Camille under odds. I've discharged her. FGM. She's flying out tonight to relatives and she clearly doesn't want to go. You think she's at risk? I asked her outright. I told her she might have a severe headache. You want to keep her in? For a few hours. She'll miss the flight. And you want me to convince her mum? Would you? It's Granny. Oh, don't answer it. Not until we've spoken to the doctor. She's saying uh, she has a headache. I heard. Mind if I take a look? Okay. Does that hurt? Out of ten, with ten being the worst, how bad is the pain? Eight. Eight. Could be inflammation caused by the accident. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to keep her in for observation. <laughs> but their flight is too risky. The pressure on the plane could exacerbate whatever's causing this. I really wouldn't advise it. There's nothing wrong with her. Sophie, please, your sister's ill. So let me go. You're too young to fly alone. I'm sorry, Mum. What that matters is you're safe, huh? Half out of the ops, okay? Thank you.